for telling you through this video how to use resin out registry cleaner and PC optimizer software a few days back I downloaded this software and I found it very helpful I thought I should make a video so that others can also take benefit out of this software so first of all let me tell you why I downloaded this tool uh, the answer to this question is that my Windows 7 was booting very slow and not only this, the whole system was running very slow. I wanted to increase its speed and wanted to increase the boot time. So I uh, used Regen out uh, it's a, uh, and it found it very helpful. It's, it's really good. Now my Windows 7 is moving really fast. You can see you know, programs open quite faster than they used to be. So now let me tell you what are the options available in this software. First of all, this is the registry cleaner software. It's the main software uh, user interface. Uh, these are the categories that the software uh, scans. These are ActiveX objects, uninstall entries, fonts entries, shared DLLs, application paths, help file information, Windows startup items, file path references, program shortcuts, empty registry keys and file associations. These categories are very important and they determine how good our PC is. You know, if there uh, will be errors in Windows registry, we will notice our computer will be crashing, uh, it, it will be running slow and um, programs will be responding very slow. Uh, for instance, these ActiveX objects, these cause the um, uh, errors related to the flash uh, and other errors in the browser. So you just click this button, start scan, and now your registry cleaning scan starts. The software runs uh, very well and it catches the most dangerous errors, uh, which can destroy your computer. Running a registry scan um, after after a week or uh, fortnightly is recommended by PC experts. So when a scan completes, you just fix the errors. Now there is another important option available in this uh, software, which is System Cleaner. The system Cleaner is divided into two subcategories. First is the Windows Junk Cleaner, and the second is the Privacy Cleaner, also called the Browser Cleaner. The Windows Junk Cleaner deletes the, uh, the junk files which lie in the computer system. These junk files not only can make your system slow, but also make your uh, system, you know, uh, get errors. So the other tool is Privacy Cleaner. So it supports three major browsers: Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. Now. You, you can see how fast these options are working just click the analyze button and you will see it is catching all the errors right now my computer has 16 MB of junk file data which includes the browser junk as well as the windows junk uh, this is a small uh, amount uh, right now because I have already cleaned my system uh, through the system cleaner option in Regin Out, Register Cleaner and PC Optimizer software. Now after you have analyzed what um, amount of you know, junk data is uh, present in your computer, you can just um, start cleaning this. So you just press yes and the whole data is clean in just a few seconds. Uh, after cleaning uh, the junk files, uh, the software will ask you to restart the system to uh, reconfigure the settings. So you can just restart the system. But right now, I will restart it later. Now there is another option. It's called the defragmenter. Uh, defragmenter is an option which uh, unifies and uh, reorganizes the data that is spread into the uh, that is spread scattered into the computer. You can just analyze this data. No, now the software asks that to uh, uh, close all other applications uh, while you are running this function. So it is recommended because it's a very important function. If you want to speed up your computer, then it is recommended that you run this tool as a, uh, and close down all other applications. So it's very simple. You just analyze this 
so start analyzing the registry defragmentation process and later on it will ask you to restart your computer in this way you will be able to uh, defragment all the data so next option is the manage start of item so you know there are a lot of uh, programs that start with the windows startup uh, this is one of the main reason why our windows um, boots very slow uh, you can just select some of the programs uh, from this list and either you can remove them uh, or disable them to start with a with a startup uh, in this way you can you know uh, you can easily uh, enhance the boot time uh, here are some programs I have disabled most of them you can just select any of the program and click enable or disable disable depending on what you choose so there's the option backup when you uh, run the registry cleaner scan the software automatically uh, automatically creates a backup of the registry data so that if uh, you want to re uh, revert to an original state you, you can easily go back so this is the tool summary which tells you how much errors the registry scan found and how much the errors mean so this software is very easy to use and very helpful now there's an options this this is the options area where you can uh, choose your <coughs> settings first of all there's the option start on the windows startup you can select to start the software while your computer starts set restore point before registry repair this is also an important option automatically repair registry items after scan uh, well you can choose to manually sc uh, fix the errors or the software will automatically scan the uh, scan and fix the errors uh, you can choose this option depending on your choice so check for software updates on application startup and the last option is automatically shut down application after registry repair. Uh, this option is not recommended since you might be uh, looking to do other tweaks with your system like system cleaner, registry defragmenter, and manage startup options. So don't choose these settings. Ignore list. Ignore list is the list which you um, which is uh, made when you scan the registry. The registry items which are which are ignored while you started a scan will be uh, put together in this ignore list and there is the last important option it's called scheduling now you can schedule the software to run daily weekly anytime you want here is a, mm, here is a time you can select so this is the updates the pressing this button uh, will take you to the updates and this is the help if you want to take further help you can press this button and get help um, for the software so i hope you like this video and you will use this tool and enjoy a faster and a stable computer it is the most important tool after the antivirus and anti-spyware uh, a must have software i must say